What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the OG family. Make sure y'all smash that like button. Subscribe to my channel only if you want to. But look, man, we got we got some more we got some more drama out here, people. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna keep reacting to these, man. We got cast out beef with Nicki Minaj and the Barbs. So it seems like, bro. It's always something, bro. It's always something. Then cast out links with Cardi B as well. So we just gonna hope, go ahead and hop into this video. If y'all like to see the original video, it'll be in the description down below. Y'all go ahead and support her channel, man. Dope, man. I just I just enjoy reporting on this type of stuff. Well, reacting to this type of stuff. She reports, I react. That's the difference. Let's, let's be truthful, people. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Impressive Channel. The rapper Cash Doll has been getting a lot of backlash from Nicki Minaj fans after she was spotted hanging out with Cardi B at a nightclub in New York City. Now, I saw this video of Cardi B and Cash Doll hanging out on this Instagram page called East Renaissance. And if you get a chance, please follow East Renaissance. It gives an update on all the current events in pop culture. And also, it's an unbiased blog. So please support East Renaissance. But anyway, I saw this video of Cardi and Cash Doll hanging out. And Cash Doll said, it was so good to kick it with Cardi last night. She is cool AF, a whole bunch of misunderstandings, but grown women can kick it and let that stuff go. I F with her. Now, this is okay. interesting because Cash Doll... That's very mature of her, actually. You know what I'm saying? Burying the hatchet and, you know what I'm saying, vibing. That's what's up. Uh, and Cardi B were at odds at one point. Back in 2017, Cash Doll called out her city for giving Cardi B a Spirit of Detroit award. Now, Cardi is not from I, Detroit, and I she has it. never done anything for the city of Detroit. So Cash Doll thought it was messed up that they were giving her an award, which is understandable. Yeah. After that, there was another instance that created some friction between Cash and Cardi, and it was over the song She Bad, which was originally the rapper YG song. YG actually approached Dreezy and Cash Doll to do the record with him, but he ended up selling the song to Cardi B. And Cash Doll was confused by this because she thought she was going to be on the song. So she talked about it on Instagram, and it did create some drama between Cash Doll and Cardi B fans. Now, Cardi B took it personal, and she tried to confront Cash Doll. And I didn't know anything about this, but Cash Doll did recently reveal on Hollywood Unlocked that Cardi B tried to pull up on her. I don't know. I supposedly, back in when I was, I was about to... Uh, you know what, though? I really don't like to see, you know what I'm saying, our beautiful women out here fighting amongst each other, man. Y'all so talented and beautiful, man, at the same time, man. Y'all out here doing dope things. I love that y'all was actually able to get over this and do y'all thing. That's what's up. About to go to like oh, shoot. Fashion. When she was pregnant, my friend told me that she was trying to come see what's up. Like, like a what's different up, what's kind up of like what's that? up. No, and I was yeah, like, no. I was like, pregnant? You should, yeah, and I was, I told, I was, my friend said, told me that, and I was like, you serious? That story is crazy, but it's not at all surprising because that's what Cardi B does. She likes to pull up and fight people. But Cash Doll hey. has matured and moved on from this, and she said that she has no issues with Cardi B. I don't have no problem with her. Congratulations to her. I'm happy for her. You know what I'm saying? Well, I can like, feel your energy. I mean, you working in the room. I don't have like, no problem with yeah. her. I don't want people to see. I say I have a problem with her. I'm not mad at That's nobody. Dope. What God got for me is for me. What he has for her is for her. I'm not jealous of nobody. I'm happy. So Cash Doll was mature enough to lay the whole issue to rest. She said she had no issues with Cardi B. And another thing to note is Ooh. Cash Doll resolved some of her misunderstandings with rappers like Asian Doll and Lil' Kim. So Cash Doll is at a point in her life where she just doesn't want to beef with anybody. She just wants to focus on her career and she wants to make money and also build relationships. Hey, that's a mature chocolate thing right there. You feel me? Like, yo, y'all feel me? And if you feel me in the comments, that's a mature chocolate thing. Just go ahead and put that down there. Which is why she linked up with Cardi B. So now Cash Doll and Cardi are cool, which is great. I do think it's great to see some unity amongst female rappers. However, Nicki's fans, a.k.a. the Barbs, had an issue with this. And they found out that Cash Doll unfollowed Nicki. So some of the barbs thought that Cash Doll unfollowed Nicki after she started hanging out with Cardi B. However, Cash Doll revealed that she unfollowed Nicki two weeks ago, and she told the reason why. Listen to this. I've been stating I don't have a problem. 
I've been stating that. I've been saying it over and over again. What the fuck do y'all want me to do? I'm not even, and then that's what she said in my DMs. That's what made me unfollow her, because y'all fans. That was two weeks ago I unfollowed her. Me and Cardi wasn't sitting up talking about no other female. We talking about bringing females together. As soon as the week, y'all get a glimpse of it. Oh, I found follow Nikki because of Cardi. You know, there ain't nobody. Look, I'm a grown ass woman with grown ass bills. I got a family to make sure I'm straight. I'm holding my city down. I ain't thinking about people with no bitch. The hell? And I don't know about none of y'all more. Stupid. <laughs> well, I don't follow Nikki. I don't follow Nikki two weeks ago because when y'all was dragging me for whatever fuck y'all was dragging me for, and I told y'all to leave my name out y'all mouth, she came in my DM talking crazy. And I unfollowed her and told her she was delusional, just like y'all motherfuckers. If you want to be technical, that's exactly. Leave me alone. I don't want to be beefing with nobody. Hey. You know what I'm saying? Sorry. Hey, for real, for real, I do fear her alone. I, I feel her none of that, though. You know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, just think about it, man. A lot of the people that follow, you know what I'm saying, Nikki, man, they attack you, man, over anything. You sneeze wrong. You know what I'm saying? They they, they, they following you. And then on top of that, Nikki DM'd you on some, you know what I'm saying? The reason why I think particular ways, I ain't taking sides. I feel like she did hit her in the DMs like that in a, in a, in a rude way because, I, I mean... We are creatures of habit, man, and she's done, she's done stuff like this before. People, let's, it's not it's not too far fetched, but I mean, I ain't, ain't nobody taking sides. I just wish that everybody can, you know, what I'm saying, work together, cause that'd be dope, man. If man, if all of them jumped on the song together, come on, bro. I'm a fan of music. You don't like me anyway. So what y'all having? Like y'all disappointed? Right. Y'all disappointed in me? Y'all disappointed in me? I can't be bullying this girl, man, because she unfollowed her. And then, now that's, that's just crazy to speak where we at now, bro. Like, why do we feel the need to bully? Bro, she unfollowed her. Y'all act like she pulled up on her, came out with the blicky, blicky, bling, bling, fruit fly. Gotta kill it, but you know what I'm saying? With the blicky, bling, 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 like something happened, bro. Like, why y'all attacking this girl? Leave her alone, bro. If she don't want to follow her, she don't have to follow her. And vice versa. Just like me. If I unfollow somebody, bro, like, don't approach me because I unfollowed you, bro. Like somebody sitting around their whole life depend on beefing with somebody. I've been, I've been told y'all. I make listen to you saying I'm a fan of me. I didn't love fucking song or songs, put her lyrics and DM'd her, followed her. Yeah. What the fuck y'all want me to do? Damn. Leave me alone. Leave alone. You fucking retarded people. Party, that's not funny. And I'm still, I'm still like Nikki. We can't take away what Nikki has done for female life. Nobody is in the game. She held that down. But I'm just trying to eat. Word. I, I gotta feed. So I'm not thinking about people with nobody. That's the least of my concerns. I don't want to be with nobody. And, and think about this. I, I like the way that she approached this too. And what she just said, bro, like, means a lot to people that's growing and maturing in life. You know what I'm saying? Like, even though this happened and they had their miscommunication, misunderstanding, whatever they had in the DMs, you know, we ain't going to say what, what, what happened because we don't know, right? We can speculate. But... You know what I'm saying? She's still not to that point where she like, oh, fuck that person, this and that, like slandering her name and all this other stuff. She just stating facts. Like, I don't, you know, I unfollowed her because of this, and this is why it happened. I still, you know what I'm saying? Like, she ain't got nothing against the woman. You, you, and that's what's wrong with people. Just because somebody don't mess with you no more don't mean that you have to beef with them. And that don't mean that y'all fans have to attack her. And don't come attacking me either because I got opinion. You feel me? I'm just even cut. That's how it should be. You know what I'm saying? All this beef and stuff is unnecessary, bro. I'm about to go okay, cut this video short because that's all this is right here. You feel me? Like a bunch of unnecessary beef, bro. Who want to sit here? Look, who want to sit here and just continue to beef with somebody, bro?
You know, like, 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 like that's that, that's very unnecessary. I just wish that, you know what I'm saying, more people could be thinking like that on a mature level. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully they can, you know what I'm saying, patch everything up. All of them. Not just Cardi and, you know what I'm saying, uh, Cash Dial getting together and doing their thing. All three of them, man, if it was possible. But some people, man, put themselves in a situation where nobody want to rock with them no more. You see that kind of happening to, uh, you know, to Nicki. And if everybody's usually, if everybody's saying something about you, I mean, everybody, for the most part, then it's probably you, man. So I think the best thing we can do is people, and don't attack me for this, man, because I'm, I got my opinion. Because I've been there, you know what I'm saying? We have to look ourselves in the mirror and be real with ourselves. And that's what made me a better person and made me happier with myself because I was being truthful to myself, look myself in the mirror, admitted my wrongs, and then try to move forward and correct that. And then, you know, more people want to be around you. They like your energy because you you, you, know, you don't mean any harm. Even if you come off the wrong way, you know, like, oh, my bad, I'm big enough. Oh, my bad, you know what I'm saying? Remember back in the day, somebody would step on my shoe and I get pissed off, you know what I'm saying? These are my brand new shoes, you got an attitude. I just be like, you know what I'm saying? They're just shoes, nah. I'm to that point in my life. They're just shoes, man. You probably ain't even mean it. It is what it is. And if you did, I'm not gonna show you that it bothered me. Cool. But look, man, hopefully they can get over this, man. These beautiful women do their thing, bro. Um, yeah, I, we ain't need to watch the whole video. We pretty much see what it is from right here. You know what I'm saying? If y'all want to see the full video, the link is in the description down below. The impressive channel, man. She always got some dope videos too, man. Um, I see you on the next video, though, man. Hopefully they can get this together. Like I always say, man, spread love because it's too much hate in this world. I love you guys. Y'all stay original. Hit the merch store. It's on my Instagram. See y'all. I'm out. Tokyo, we rock them diamonds first. Diamonds first. Rolling on your wrist, they see you when you swerve. When you swerve. Fuck them all the niggas that don't made you hurt. You're the one for me, baby, and that's my word. Trip to Tokyo, we rock them diamonds.